And there it is. And there it is. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. Alrighty, so we're going to uh let's see here. Uh where are my earbuds? <sighs> Out of my damn purse, earbuds. That way it doesn't echo into my microphone. I'm gonna let people get started, get it all on Twitch. Oh, well, look at that. We already got a viewer. Welcome, whoever you are. I wish I could see who it was. Oh, well, look at that. We already got a viewer. Welcome, whoever you are. I wish I could see who it was. No, yeah, whatever. All right, so we're going to... Uh, we're going to get started. This is Avery's Art Abominations. Uh, this is a freeform drawing stream where I basically draw whatever the hell I want, and you can't stop me. All right, so we're gonna start off with a couple of warm-up sketches uh, that I found in my old sketchbook that are just absolutely terrible and definitely need to be updated. Uh, if you guys want to find the finished sketches and stuff like that, they will be on my DeviantArt page, which is Avery Cora Williams at DeviantArt.com. That is Avery Cora Williams at DeviantArt.com. So, all right, we are going to get started with a creature called the Strikedon or Strickton. I, I don't, I don't honestly know what their name is, but uh, they're interesting. So. I want to give them new life. So we're going to uh, first start with a head shape, which will look like this. Uh, they kind of had a feminine feel to me, so we're gonna kind of go with that. I'm getting a little lag today, but it's not too bad since this is the free for all drawing stream. This is not meant to be perfect by any means. So, anywho, I do have my chat open in case you guys want to ask me any questions. Keep it civil, though. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys, see how I'm doing. And if you have any suggestions for drawings that I can do, uh, don't be afraid to ask me in the comments. Um, things that I will not be drawing are not safe for work stuff because I have not set up my Twitch page for that yet. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe for like a holiday stream we'll do that just for shits and giggles. Uh, but anyway, uh, it is currently 9.31 p.m. on Monday, May the 23rd, 2022. I hope you guys is date. Excuse me, I hope you guys' day is going alright, alright, alright. I should make mention, I am streaming on my laptop just simply for convenience sake because my uh, my PC, uh, the colors are kind of weird um, due to my monitor and... I don't know how to fix it, so... Well, I do know how to fix it, but it's not perfect, so... Yeah, plus... Um, using my... Laptop, I can finish off any sketches that I do, so... There you go. Alright, so we're gonna circle this right here, circle this right here. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out where to put the spikes. Maybe I'll put the spikes, like, right here, because... 
Stricton has spikes, like right there. And from what it looks like, there are spikes coming out of the ankles. So we will go ahead and add those. Uh, yeah, there we go. Draw that. And then draw the arms, which are just very average arms. Uh, we're going to just kind of make it seem like she doesn't care whatsoever. Laptop, I can finish off. She has spikes on her do, so. wrists, it would seem, so according to the drawing that I am referencing. So... I'm so happy that the proportions are so, like, normal human, because that makes things so much easier. Out of Allows me to put my college skills to the test. You so know, she, I think I made her into an alien, but I think she's just, like, I kind of want to just make her, like, a mutant human. So, anyway, here's the breast line there. And now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put her in. Alright, so that would be the eye line there. There's the mouth. Uh, let's see. It looks like she has some antenna going on here. Kind of looks like Cutman a little bit. Uh, they just kind of branch out like that. Alright, we're gonna pop over here to the chat. It looks like we don't have any one in the chat quite yet. That's fine. I strongly encourage chat because that just makes it a little bit more fun, you know? Just kind of see how the audio is. And this time I actually did... Um, I have music playing in the background. Um, it is royalty-free kind of gaming type music, so... Uh, if that's not your cup of tea, then... Sorry. Uh, we will probably have something different for the next drawing stream. Because I'm still trying to, like, iron out the bugs and stuff like that. Alrighty. There we go. Uh, looks like... According to the drawing, her... Count how many times I say according to the drawing. According to the drawing, her toes are exposed. She only has two of them. From what it would seem. Alright, let's move the drawing up a bit. And then draw her toes. Now, in terms of how long I'm going to stream tonight, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll just stream until I feel that I am just out of time. I don't have a time limit for these kind of things. So, anyway, it looks like it's like one seamless kind of thing. So, let's, like, give her, like, kind of a hooved type hand situation because I think that'll all be very different and very strange give her kind of a glove type thing going on and give her some shorts and then draw her eyes Zoom in real fast. Sorry. Uh, we will probably have something different for the next drawing stream. I'm still trying to like iron out the bugs and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I don't know if she. I don't want to add any nostrils.
There we go. like an ear type thing over here. I think I kind of based her on Cut Man from the uh, Mega Man series. I think that's what I had her design based on almost. There we go. All right. You know what? I kind of feel like giving her like tufts of hair. There, there, and right there. I'll just stream until I feel that I am just out of time. I don't have a time limit. There we go. Looks like it's like a There's that design right there. And now we're going to kind of shrink it down, put her over here, and then we're going to do drawing number two of the warm-up portion of our presentation. Because like I said, this is meant to just kind of be, uh, just kind of like test sketches and stuff so I can get prepared. Let's see. Draw a circle there. Now I'm actually going to be drawing a bird type character. So there's his beak. I so seldomly draw birds on digital, so it may look kind of crappy, but that's what this stream is. That's what this streaming series is for. Just kind of get me out of my comfort zone. There's a tongue right there. There's his eye line. There we go. That right there. There's the defined muscular structure right there. Feathers will kind of come up like that. Yeah, it's kind of like this thing going on right there. There we go. I'm trying to make him look crotchety, like he's like this crotchy old man. Because that's what the character is called, he's the crotchy old crow. It's basically, it's a pun. It's a pun name. Alright, so this part because he's kind of sitting at a certain position this would be like where the leg is there's the crotch very technical term obviously and then we define the legs Tail would be. I think, like in the, like the practice drawing I did before the stream, I actually gave him clothes. All right. Although I kind of, kind of want to make this a female character now, since we already drew a girl over here. But uh, he, he was male. So. Anyway, there's the kind of shoulder area so I guess this would be like feathers and I gave him pants because why not why not give him pants we don't want him to be naked and there's the belt buckle right there uh, earlier I was actually watching Gordon Ramsay I think that's part of the reason why 
wanted to do something. Just something silly. Alright, so there would be like the fist area. I kind of want this guy to be a mascot of some sort. Alright, so his pupil would be right there. that. There's his thumb feather. And there it is. Ta-da! And his finger would be kind of wagging, so there we go. Indicate motion. He, he does not approve of what is going on here. Well, too bad, because I'm your mother, and I will I'll do what I want. There we go. And then, of course, gotta define where the feet are. There's his feet. And I think his jeans would be like they'd end off like right there I don't even know why I gave him jeans it's just so stupid but kind of just adds to the character like he's just this cranky old man get off my lawn kind of want to make him say that it's him going get off my lawn and I think I will There we go. There's our guy. There, and then uh, the sketch that I did of him had him kind of like he has a collar type thing going on. Uh, I'm terrible at drawing like collar shirts. Like, I really am. I'm really bad at drawing them. I didn't give him a bow tie, but in the original sketch, he had a tie, so I'll give him one. There we go. And then he had glasses, because why not? He's an old man. He can't see very well. Well, considering that I drew it like that, then I need to draw like there. Alrighty, there's our beautiful old man, which I will finish drawing later. Why not? Why not give him Kinda looks like these two would be friends. Like, um, Strickton would be like, she hates everybody else, and so does he. But you know, they're friends. So anyway, I'm gonna rename this layer. Crotchy old crow. And you, Strickton. There we go. I'm debating whether or not I want to ink them in. I don't think I will. Because they are not what's important to the show. I think I'll do, like, but before we, like... Finish and get to the main event of what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my thing here. Uh, no one's in the chat yet. We're going to 
put those two in that, and I'm going to turn the page on my thing, and I'm going to locate something truly ridiculous that I can draw. Uh, where, where was he? Ah, there we go. Found him. Uh, he looks like some sort of tech dude, but I like him, so going to define his head there. It's very irregular. This is where, like, one of the horns were. Uh, let's see. Looks like another horn's kind of coming off, like, right over here. And then guy. his face is kind of like. There. There we go. And his wow. body is very erratically shaped. So. Uh, you know what? Maybe this is like. Grandma Strickton. There you go. This is this is what they evolve into. Because you don't know. They're aliens. So... What's this? Very bony. Very bony woman. This is actually the first time I've drawn this in probably years. Very irregular body. Here's where the joint would be. Maybe she's like reaching out to touch somebody. She only has like they are material. I think I'll do like but before we like like her hands like that. Finish getting the paint out. I'll just do flip my paint can. Anything chat yet? Since it's the same species, need to like get her breasts. Brustuses, as my dad likes to say. And then draw like the collar that the women have. Is that Grandma Strickton? Uh, maybe like older ones like lose their lose the, the horns right there I need to move her up a bit yeah the older are like really really bony they have nothing to look forward to that's why she's so cranky because um, Strickton is very aware of what her face is going to end up looking like. Going to looking like her granny. Granny Strickton. Uh, oh, first burp. Alright, and the rest of the arm, I think we'll just kind of trail off like that. Granny's been through a lot. Uh, you know what? Maybe this is like... I've been through a lot, a child of mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I know I've been through a lot. That you've been through a lot. Now, don't you sass me, Missy, or I'm going to 
give you a whooping. And you know I can because I'm an elder in our culture. The elders are allowed to do such things. Granny! Don't you sass me, missy. Or I'm gonna smack you. And you know whenever I smack you, it's gonna hurt. Gonna hurt something fierce. This is, like, so unfair. Granny don't give a shit. I'm gonna strike you like you are some sort of... something. I'm not quite sure yet, but... it's gonna feel terrible. That's how I imagine conversations between her and her granny go. Just simply, like, they just get so, like, not good. Alright, her eyes, like, down there. And... It's, like, where her hair is. And you know what? Women kind of lose their hair as they go in the strict inverse. And their eyes get like more rectangular. Granny Strickton. She ain't happy with her granddaughter. Because her granddaughter has decided to be an NPC in a video game on Earth. Why do you keep dealing with them hoodlums on planet Earth when you should be out here helping your granny? Like, because they're fun, Granny. I don't give shit. Granny. I don't give shit what you think is fun, kid. Your mission as strict in is to help your granny. Now get off your ass and rub my bunions. That is so gross. It's gonna get grosser if you don't buff my bunions. Like, whatever. That's more like it, child. Or I'm gonna smack you. Alrighty, now I gotta, like, actually write her saying, buff my bunions. There we go. Simply like, they just get so, like, not good. She's going to be smaller than... Stricton. Alright. Yep, I have the wrong layer selected. And you know what? Women kind of... That shouldn't stay there. I just need to move her eyes. Because I accidentally created, like, a, I have a scene going on here, and I kind of kind of want to finish it. Might help if I had the freaking... 
paintbrush tool selected. There you go. Shit, what you think is fun. Now all of them have like something to say. Your mission as strict in is to help your granny. Right. Now get off your ass and Let's get out the wrong layer selected. Yes. Count how many times that happens during these streams. Get Just like the wrong hands. layer ends up getting selected. <laughs> She's smaller, so there you go. That's more like it, child. There we go. Now I yeah. There we go. Granny Strickton. Ah, mercy. Don't piss off Granny Strickton because she's crazy. I didn't mean to turn off the layer. There we go. Alright. I'm going to check over here and make sure that my... No, we've only been recording for... Uh... No, we haven't been recording for that long. Good lord. Oh well. I guess I've been delaying the inevitable for too long. Alright, we're gonna swap over to red to indicate that we're going to be drawing aliens now! Hooray! Alright. So now we're gonna move on to our major presentation. I'm gonna hit save real fast because we don't want this. So. Those that know me know I love Ben 10, and will know that the Omnitrix has a lot of weird DNA samples stored within it. I mean, there are over a million aliens encoded in this thing. But, not all aliens are created equal, no sorry Bob. Some of them are downright ridiculous, and those are the ones that I intended to show you today. So, firstly, we are going to start off with a beautiful creature called the Bacata. Uh, his transformation data is nicknamed Barn Bash. You heard me right, Barn Bash. He has elements of a goat, a buffalo and a monkey he has like monkey lips going on here uh, he has like cow like ears and horns but he has like goat like legs and hooves so yeah this species is uh known for creating labyrinths they are expert labyrinth makers And, like, if you spot any labyrinths throughout the galaxy, most likely these guys are the ones that created it, so... Yeah. Their nostrils are also all the way up here, because evolution's weird. It's weird. It don't make sense. So anyway, I'm gonna draw this, and we're going to draw their hair. Now 
Alrighty. Right, from what it looks like in the drawing, the lips seem to go all the way up here. And the eyes are like down here. There's like kind of a division point there. And put the Omnitrix symbol right over here. Because why the hell not? Alright, he has a nice prominent chin. So prominent, man. Just so prominent. His head kind of juts out like that. There you go. Either. Now I gotta draw where his body is. Thankfully, this is the sketching stage, so I'm gonna get away with like messier line work. His arm will be like defined down here. His other arm is over here. But he has like goat like legs and like boobs. So yeah. This species is uh draw the crotch region that region region down there. Draw one like there. There, which is doing this. I should have mentioned that Barn Bash's superpower is uh, the ability to move at highway like speeds and um, essentially being a living battering ram. So, yeah, that's that's his power. It's just being a living battering ram type thing. There's one of his claws. There's the other one. kind of like doing like a like he has like one arm down and the other one's like holding its fist up heroically Sketch this way. And don't worry, we'll finish up the mouth. It'll look beautifully hideous in no time. Alright, so. It's the other part of the arm. Now that I'm not limited by page space. And no, he only has two fingers, so there you go. Now we gotta draw his beautiful mouth. Alright, actually going to erase some lines here.
I'm thinking of um, watching the movie Watchmen for the first time uh, tonight. I wanted to watch that movie for a long time, actually, so... I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to what's going to happen in my soap opera. Yes, I watch soap operas. Uh, General Hospital is going to update on Hulu soon, so... Yeah. Yeah, this guy has, like, nice pointy teeth. Nice pointy teeth. Yeah. bottom teeth are kind of jutting out here. He has like irregular teeth. And mind you, the females, uh, they actually are uglier than this. They are, they are much uglier. At least to us humans. To them, they look gorgeous, but seems that the design of the costume that I had in mind kind of does this. And there we go. There is concept number one. Oh, forgot his fingers. And froze there for a second. Yeah, I was about to have to relaunch my program. That would have sucked. Like he had, like, there we go. And there we go. Alright, he's a fuzzy fucker, too, so I gotta incorporate the fur a little early. So he has, like, furry legs. Uh, his arms are pretty fluffy too. Uh, see, the sleeve actually goes like pretty far down, so I think it goes like in the sketch I did. It's like right down here. And the arm is just really, really fuzzy. Don't worry. Whenever we fully render this doodle, it'll look a lot better. There we go. And how could I forget his tail? I almost forgot his tail. Because he has a tail. Why? Because I think it's fun. His tail's kind of Moving out into the distance here. There we go. There he is. There's our boy. Alright, I'm gonna shrink him a bit. And this guy, I am actually going to... At the very least do a sketch of get his outlines done we're not going to color him in but we are at the very least going to uh get his line work done so anywho uh we are going to shrink down our pen to 4.72 pixels We're gonna start with his eyes. Yeah, he's an angry boy. You can tell. Which is kind of funny, because the species are not known for being, like, super violent. Um, mostly because they have, like, a sport or whatever to let out some aggression. 
So, yeah, uh, because of the spore, they actually haven't had a war in a while. It's really nice. He's really nice. Right. So his mouth's actually more kind of like that. There we go. See, he's actually supposed to be looking kind of happy, like he's happy to be doing what he's doing. There's one tooth, and another tooth, a third tooth, a burp, which, oh yeah, I, I just remember one of his powers that I gave him. Uh, he has a super burp. Yeah, that's one of his powers, because why the hell not? You never know. A hyper belt could be really, really useful. We are at the very least going to All right. uh, get his line work done. So he's drawn his teethies. Uh, we are going to break down our end four point seven two pixels. Here we go. Yeah, he's an angry boy. You can tell. It's kind of funny because the species are not known for being like super violent. Should have, should have brought something to drink. My throat's getting kind of dry. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, because of the spore, they actually haven't had a war in a while. He has kind of a goatee going on. Let's go ahead and draw the symbol. There we go. There it is. Just so it's already there.
go. There's one horn. Now we get to draw the other. There it is. So we have a frame of reference for where the hair and horns and stuff will go. There we go. There's the side of his face. There we go. coming together quite nicely. Right, there we go. There's part of a skull. So we need to draw that part right there. Should have brought something. over here real fast. Nothing in the chat. Very quiet today. Very quiet. That's fine. It is 10.20 p.m. right now. I imagine some of you are about ready to go to bed. It's perfectly fine. goes here so and this guy for being a useless alien or whatever he's looking way cooler than he has any right to be and, you know some of the most worthless transformations are some of the coolest looking is all right so there we go it's already there continuing to reference the sketch that I did so that I'm not too far off from the design I want If there are any budding artists out there or whatever, not that I'm an expert or anything, but uh, definitely do like little concept sketches and stuff before you get started on like the main sketch. That way, a you're warmed up, and b you know what the the character is going to look like. All right, so this. Kind of fade into pole of sorts. There you go. There's news. I 
yeah, he's coming along quite nicely. Okay, I'm not gonna draw his pupil until um, the rendering, so. Uh, let's see. There we go. One more. Now we can... I am going to draw the symbol, though. That way it's already there. There we go. There's the on the matrix symbol. Now gotta draw like the chest fur because he doesn't really have a neck, so don't have to worry about drawing that. Alrighty, there we go. There's that. That doodle. Oh, that reminds me of uh, this one flash game or whatever called. Ah, um... oh, fuck, I forget what it's called, but it was really good. Damn it. It was a really good platformer. The main antagonist was like, I think a rabbit or whatever. It was pretty interesting. Might have to stream some Flash games at some point because my friend Oscar, who I hope is watching right now. So, hi man, how you doing? Uh, he showed me a Flash game archive or whatever. And it looked pretty cool, so... Uh, one of these days I'll do a gaming stream and we'll check some of that out. Because this is not going to just be an art streaming type thing. This is basically like if I want to go live or whatever, I'll just do it. By the way, unlike the last few streams, um, this one will be saved, so uh, if you miss this stream, you will be able to actually go back and watch it for, I think, the next couple of weeks, as long as it's available. I think you can also download the streams, I'm not really sure. If you can download the stream, then I will publish it on my According to Pluto um, channel, that's what it's called, my According to Pluto channel on YouTube, which will be my new archive type channel. That's kind of been sitting dormant for a while. I need to publish more stuff on there, but I just have no idea what I'm going to do with that channel, so... I think now I know. It will be my Twitch Archive channel. Because every YouTuber needs one of those. Because, you know, the YouTube algorithm is not very useful for YouTubers. It's quite sad. Wrist. I'll put his thumb, a 
joint right there. Cooler than he has any right to be. Okay, here's arm one. Shoulder there. Man, this guy is looking really cool. Like, he was not supposed to look cool. He's meant to be kind of shitty, but... He's looking really neat. I like him. But that's kind of how, like, whenever I did, like, the... Test drawing or whatever. For, uh, the alien. Barn Bash. That's how it ended up then, too. So, I kind of want to finish him, actually, on stream. But, I don't know. I don't know. Is there any budding artists out there? No, for right now. We don't have, we don't have to. Alright, so, be the crotch region. I know, a very technical term. Always remember, it'll be on the test. Here are his toes. So I can get them out of the way. I guess since these guys are like, like his species are like labyrinth creators or whatever. They'd probably have to be pretty strong too. So maybe like a degree of super strength and um, maybe a bit of heightened intelligence, maybe, I don't know. So he has like both brains and brawn. Like I said, I don't know. But, he's here, he's now, he's beautiful. Uh, let's see here. Looks like his fur kinda goes down here to, like, past his kneecap. Makes it easier on me because that means I don't have to draw a kneecap. Yay! I like when my designs help me skip out on things. Okay, I think I know what's making that noise in the background. You guys probably don't hear it, but my cat's eating. I actually thought about streaming in the living room, but I did not. I did not. Oh well. Maybe another time. I'm just trying to see, like... Where I can, like, adjust certain things. This is left leg. You have to draw a pant leg for so fun. I don't want to go to work tomorrow, to be honest. I really don't. I'd much rather draw and be with you guys. Maybe one of these days I'll open like a like a Twitch shop or something. I don't know. Like I said, this ain't like anything definite, but perhaps one day I'll like open commissions or something. I'll actually do it this time. Alright, here's the tendons.
proportions on the legs. Ah, my worst nightmare. Actually, my worst nightmare was probably like something involving a tornado being chased in a car. My dad was in that one. That's like one of the few dreams, like whenever I was a kid, I actually remembered. It was not fun. Maybe one of these days I'll draw it on stream. Just for shits and giggles. There we go. Here's his leg. It ain't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Alright, so... where I had, like, the division. There's, like, the little rectangle thing there. And then there was this. Kind of like a pair of overalls, like that was his outfit. Aliens is fun, la da 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 da. Sorry if I fall silent for a little bit. That just happens whenever I'm drawing. It's like I want to get things just right. Man, this guy is looking really cool. There like he was not go. supposed. To... All right, so be the knuckle right there. I had, like, this funny idea, like, for a Super Jesus type thing. But that's kind of how, like, whenever I did, like, the head strong or whatever. Like, it's kind of like a parody or something, like, the ultimate religious figure. Super Jesus. His superpower. Make people admire the beard. And that's it, like, people only followed him because he has a beard. It'd literally just be a parody type thing. But, I don't know. I'd have to have, like, a friend along to do that one. And mind you, if I ever did that, like I said, it'd be, like, a joke. Don't take offense to it. Alrighty. I 
think it's about done, to be honest. Some things could be better drawn, but... Eh. Things to be done in post. Alright, so... There's that, and that, and that. There we go. Where's his tail? And there is Barn Bash. The transformation of a Minotaur. Mwahaha. I think he actually looks happier in... I think he just looks more Ben here than he did in my sketchbook. Good lord. Alright, so we're gonna call him Barn Bash. There he is. I'm gonna turn off his layer. Delete this layer. And create a new layer. We're gonna call it Cinder. Red. And now it is time to draw the next beautiful abomination. I'm excited. Alrighty, so. He is a big chunky boy. With big chunky features. And he is from a planet of molten material, such as concrete and lava and wax. That kind of thing. And he evolved from the molten concrete. Uh, his species are called the Concrestapi. And his home planet is Voxy. Spelled like waxy, but kind of funny spelled. So, anyway. Alright, we're gonna middle section here and then the bottom kind of slug tail because he's a big old frog slug thing there we go so this is where that will end his mouth or should I say mouths will be right there his arms are in this area. He has a leg there and a leg here. So, anyway. And we're going to start with the leg. Which will be kind of gloopy and like that. He has like very wide stance. It's a very wide standing alien. And his Omnitrix is, like, right there, so. We'll make the tail kind of loop in on its 
salt. Absorbs just kind of bent down like this. And his arms are kind of segmented like this. going to be like molten right there. Originally, we had like eight eyes. So. Mind you, if I ever did that, I guess I would just get the whole picture. No kick fence to it. There's another. I think it's about done, to be honest. Some things can be better drawn. Mm -hmm. There we go. He's a pretty simple design, all things considered. Apparently there's like some fire coming out of his mouth, because he can breathe fire. And these parts are segmented as well. on this boy. Let me swap over to black. And the first part of him will be the kind of shoulder pads he has. Oops, too big. stalk barn bash there he is Turn off his layer this layer this layer and all is center
this set up. We're gonna set save on this. That way we don't lose any progress. It's not like I'm talking like a video game. So this part of it will be a rigid structure. Because as I previously mentioned, this guy is molten concrete, so... This is kind of like him making the concrete. is between like the solid and the liquid parts Seems very casual about this. I can kind of see that. Like, this alien's just very casual about creating concrete. Oh, damn it! <laughs> that was weird. I think it was saving or something. Right. Now we gotta create the. Hexagonal points here. He actually has those on his hands. They're kind of like just features on his body, they don't really mean anything. There with this. Alright, let's not do that. Let's grab this. Pull out the eraser tool. And erase any stray lines from part.
case you guys are wondering like where the inspiration for this guy came from, uh, this guy kind of comes from like Five Whales interpretation of blocks. If you don't know what Five Years Later is, uh, it's a crossover comic made by the Ink Tank. That is very fantastic. Follows Danny as he ends up getting trapped in Ben's universe. Ends up in a multiversal struggle between Eon and Vlad. It's a pretty interesting concept, if I do say so myself. And Eon is finally portrayed as a threat again. So, there you go. I might add, like, Steam or something. Or, like, maybe, like, add details and stuff to make it seem like he's generating these blocks. Or I can just make it so that it actually is, like, blocks that he's generating. So it's kind of like a mudslide of blocky material. There you go. He is generating blocks. generating the blocks. It's just molten material, so... an accident. I forgot that this extended further down. So erase the stray marks here. Uh, drawing creatures is hard, but rewarding. I'm doing this because the mouth is attached to Shoulders.
I can't think of anything funny to say. I have no idea. I'm actually debating on like what color I want this guy's eyes to be. Because you now the outer part of the lids or whatever is going to be solid black, so. Makes that part easy. Alright, since I did it to that, I need to do it to this. But I knew this was going to happen. There we go. because his body is kind of like constantly flowing, so. Our boys coming together quite nicely. side. So this structure right here is not really even, it's just there.
fun part of him being a big rocky boy is that he does not need to look identical on both sides. I'm thinking of recording Kirby's Epic Yarn. I haven't tested out my capture card or nothing since the last time I used it, but, you know, I'm ready to use it again, so. Alright, so, it'll be like the lower limit of this weird crust. This hurts my arm, actually, doing this. Second of those things. And the third of these things. To zoom in once more. Find his mouth and connect it to the sides. first mouth. I have the wrinkles so that it seems like it's all one thing. This drawing wraps up or whatever, I think might actually take a break from streaming.
wrap my thing around this, move this here. I, I hate that thing. Right here like that. And stretch it a bit. There we go. Oh, I see a messy line. I'm not happy. We'll erase the extraneous lines during rendering, so I don't know why I said we. He does, in fact, have concrete for nails. Because why wouldn't he have concrete for nails? leg. I have an itch in my ear. Ah. There we go. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of like this long gooey tail going on here. done with this beastie. this. Hmm. 
There's our boy. There he is. That's him. That is Thunderblock. But we do need to add some details to his arms a bit. There's little stone details to the blocky parts. Get a little bit of dimension. Yeah, you know what other movie I want to watch right now? Secret of Nim. Never actually watched that movie. I hear it's pretty good. Here's one of Don Bluth's best. I always say there is no mistakes, only happy accidents. Always gotta, always gotta make sure of these things. Looks like something is missing. I don't know what it is. Ah, yes. First of all, we gotta thicken those nice lines. Our stripe right there, because he does have stripes on this part right here. right there. Then we add a little bit of dimension to that. Not too much. Not too much. Hexagons on his body. What the? No, 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 no. 
I didn't realize it still had that on. Honestly, there needs to be a counter or whatever. Every town is screw up, something like that. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. So this one's a bit more visible. See? No. Stop that. Alright, so this one is facing towards us, so we'll do... that and a little bit of this there that way all are accounted for swap to the paintbrush tool and draw the cracks in the stone There we go. Mostly does the kind of concrete bridges. And now we draw the Omnitrixes thing. There we go. And there he is. There is Cinder Block. One more feature of Cinder Block, because he was going to be breathing fire.
There we go. Now he's breathing fire. There we go. Our boy is breathing fire. Yay! Alright. Now we're gonna raise the, that cinder block layer. Fire. And of course, we will label this one the new. Thunder block. Thunder block. There we go. Now we turn both these layers off for our last daily end of the night. But before we do that, we have a message. Oh my God! From Acid Acidic Penguin Twenty Eight. All right. So I am actually going to reply to this lovely individual. Thank you very much, Aesthetic Panda, or Penguin28. I am very thankful you stopped by. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope to continue making content for you all soon. Now then, the final alien of tonight is the exact opposite of Cinderblock. He is an ice alien from a, a very unusual unorthodox planet named Arus. He is an Arushan, a five-eyed alien with toxic properties to his sludge. Give him like little ice crystals coming out of his head. There we go. Now, of course, we have his body, which is very simple. He's just a big sludge boy. And his arms are going to be kind of right here. There is one arm. It's kind of very, I want to make him like very grouchy looking. 
So, there you go. He's just, he's just a big old slush boy. So, not really a whole lot to say on this guy. Just, big pile of slush. Uh, he can actually spread his slush to other people to protect them. And jump like that, so... Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. Alright. Here we go. Uh, trying to decide where to put the Omnitrix, to be honest. Those arms are not doing it for me. Alright, let's do this. Almost kind of like a winter coat situation. So this will be like where one of the arms is. That's the other one. There's this. There's this. mouth. It's just kind of like these little holes or whatever. Alright, there we go. Now, let's see. I think he has like these little bolts or whatever that he has. They're kind of like little vents. And then this part right here would be like Ben's signature thing. There are little stripes right there. And then we do the arms more like this. The Omnitrix on the right hand. I don't want him to seem nervous, I just want him to see kind of like he's thinking. Alright, there we go. Very simple design with slushy, so there we go. Let's swap over to normal pen tool. And let's design this boy.
have a message. Oh my god. From Acidy Acidic Penguin 28. All right. <laughs> to this lovely individual. There we go. of Sunder Block. He is an ice <laughs> alien from a so it should be higher. A very Maybe unusual around. unorthodox planet. Up there. Named Arus. He is an Arushan. A five-eyed alien. be more of a bent kind of thing. in there. Got these nice big sluggy hands. You can see it's big boy. What's going on? There we go. There's the Omnitrix.
There we go. Make it nice and thick. Tricks. As hands are protected by the gloves, I feel. There we go. to add the stripes on his suit and my PC fell asleep not the one I'm recording on but my main PC that I yeah a gaming PC that's what it is There we go. Just make sure to do some more line layouts here. Yeah, Slush is almost done. We've barely started this guy. There it feels like it. I'm hot. I had to turn off my fan. So. Yeah. 
I don't think people realize just how hot it gets in here. <laughs> All right, let's swap to the line tool. Yay, there we go. There we go. And then we can erase a little bit of that. A little bit of that. There we go. His refrigeration suit has been completed. Now we just gotta draw slushy. Alright, and slushy shall be kind of a Kind of a gray blue color, I feel. So, unlike his bio suit or whatever that keeps them together, Slushy is actually going to be a different color. I should note that I almost did that for Cinder Block, but I think he's probably just made of the same material, so and find a reason to color them in with different lines. I may do that later, but I did not do it this time. But I really did not feel like it. recommend eating this guy unless you would like a methane or nitrogen poisoning although because he's so cold or whatever you could theoretically like put like drinks near him and he, he it would probably be fine So, there's that, if you so chose to do that. There we go. On this show, there is no... No mistakes, just happy little accidents. Excuse me. I'm so sorry you had to hear that, guys. There we go. I want 
Don't you have to hear a lady fart? Although I know there are some weirdos out there that find that sexually gratifying, which is really sad. But, you know, to each their own, I always say. Alright, let's pull out a dark blue here. Crystals are not very even, but they're not meant to be. 